Good morning, YouTube. Welcome to the Reptile Barn. I have a video for you, and it is going to be a dual, like, unboxing and showing you this enclosure. So this is a, like, a 20 or 30 gallon um, tote. I have loaded it with fake plants, a couple of live plants, some sticks, some vines, uh, a hide down there that's right over the hot spot. We have an under tank heater, a water bowl, and uh, obviously there's a lid. <laughs> um, so this is sitting at my house right next to this, okay? Um, and uh, we're going to cut a hole in the lid and put a, like a, a metal grate on the top so that we can do this. We want to have a light instead of an under tank heater. Uh, but we did not have as small of a grate as I thought. We only had the like big four foot ones for our huge like monitor enclosures. So, but this will work totally fine for now. This is a nocturnal species we're putting in here. I just wanted you to see the enclosure and I will go pull out and show you the animal. Okay, so this comes from Ward's World of Reptile Propagation out in Florida. They were great. Let me show you the inside. They had a nice thank you letter, it looks like. I'll open that up in a minute. Got a heat pack here. Nice and warm. Some packing. And here it is. So, what we've got here is a knot that's not coming undone. Hey, little one. There she is. This is another female, but this one's a year older than the one we just got from Randy. This is a red phase Dominican Red Mountain boa, and I can't even get my hand in that hole, so I'm going to gently, gently ease the snake out and show her to you guys before I put her in her tank. Come here, baby. See some movement, that's always good. There's a little coil. It's a tiny bit chilly, which is just fine. Hey, come on out, I can't get my hand in there, sweetie. Okay, well done. There we go. There she is. Let's see if I can show her to you guys. Hey, little beauty. Yeah, so these guys color up at night, but even so, she's gorgeous. And even bigger than I thought. She is so great. So you know Big Dan and Little Ann. Been on my channel forever. It's our adult pair of these. This is Chylobothrus striatus. And uh, they come from Hispaniola. I'm very excited to add a new female to the group. Big Dan and Little Ann are breeding, but as many of you know, uh, not successfully so far. Let's bring her over and see if she likes her new digs. Sorry for any mess you see in the background too. Doing this one-handed is tough. There you go. What do you think? A little jungle to explore. What do you think? I think she's digging. <laughs> That's one of the reasons I use a lot of fake plants. So many reptiles um, do more uh, terraforming than you might expect. They, they like to rearrange their environment. Um, 
and I was worried that she would just dig up all the live plants by accident as she explored. So I figured it wasn't a bad idea to uh, mostly use fake plants. But these silk plants are great. They're still beautiful. Um, they add some variety and um, interest for the snake itself. You know, a lot more visual barriers that it can use to feel secure. So this little girl is already eating frozen thawed rodents, which is fabulous. I'm hoping that she'll pop her head back up and we can get one last look at her. But uh, that may not happen, which is just fine. There she goes. I see movement. <laughs> The moss is moving, but I have no idea where she is. Oh, look, look right there. Anyway, um, I'll let her settle for a bit and uh, get her lid on, of course. But you guys will hopefully see a feeding video for her coming up. Um, and uh, we'll get a good weight on her and everything, but uh, I just wanted to check on her, make sure she was moving and looking active and healthy, and then get her right into her little habitat here. But yeah, so uh, let me know what you think of her and of this uh, enclosure. Again, it's just a plastic tote with heat on the bottom with a, a little under tank heat mat and uh, plenty of hiding spots big water bowl she should be able to fully swim in if she wants to my uh adults sure do i know that much yeah anyways uh she's totally disappeared which is just fine that's what snakes do but i hopefully will uh see more of her <laughs> um the, the little one next to her this little girl from randy she comes out every single night like clockwork although the last two nights she hasn't because she ate a big old meal but uh Pretty much every night she comes out, explores for hours, so I'm hoping that this girl will be the same and we'll get to, you know, visually track her and I won't have to dig her out too much. Um, but, uh, awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, we are the Reptile Barn.